UFD Tech's 2019 Computex coverage is brought to you by the likes of our friends at Wootware, ASRock, BitPhoenix, and AbConcor. You can check all of them out at the links in the video description and check out the dope products that they're going to be showing off this year. We'll have videos coming up of them soon. Hey friends, welcome to, I think this is probably our last video live on location in Taipei from Computex 2019. And we talked to our friends over at EK Waterblocks to check out their booth to see what they had on display this year, especially since we're gonna be partnering with them for an upcoming build that we already did, but now we're gonna water cool everything. So it's the dual system PC. They, they said that if we could come on by the booth and talk to them, that we could definitely uh, work out an arrangement to make sure that we could get all the parts we need for that massive system. So expect that in the future, but let's talk about the good stuff that EK had going on this year at Computex. Of primary importance was their EK Magnitude lineup, which this is gonna be something brand new to the kind of water cooling space because you're gonna be able to mix and match the different portions and pieces of your water blocks that you're trying to build for your system. It's actually quite a cool little concept. You can choose the different mounting plates that you want in different colors. Then you can choose the different uh, inlet sections where would, you either want plexi or different uh, types of coverings on those. Then you can put the water cooling channel in there. Then you actually get to choose your own contact plate for it. So you can mix and match however you want it. And one of the big reasons why this is a, such a cool concept besides the fact that you can create your own aesthetic for the water block and design the way you like it is the fact that if let's say you have a system that's mounted in a less than typical situation and you're trying to get a run that is uh, optimal for the aesthetic that you're trying to create, well, you can just swap the channels around in the actual water block instead of having to rotate the entire block. That way you can change where the in and out positions are to create the optimal water flow as well as creating the optimal aesthetic, which is a pretty cool concept. So that's their EK Magnitude line, but of course they had on display their, their Quantum line, which has the very nice aesthetic of having that little cutout and just kind of defining what it is, whether it's a mono block or if it's a CPU block. The EK Quantum line is a sleek looking attempt at water cooling that can even tackle the most beefy motherboards, including the Dominus Extreme. And it's just, you can get a water block, a VRM water block for that because I mean, Intel needed a chiller last year. Now EK can handle it with their water blocks. And then on top of that, they showed off their EK Connect system, which is going to be a fan and RGB control hub where you have up to six PWM fan connections, but each of those can provide up to 20 watts of power so that you can even connect splitters off of those to connect all of the fans that you might have in your system. And then obviously connecting all of the digital RGB products that you would get from let's say one of their quantum blocks, you can connect that there and then make sure that all of your RGB is synced synchronized using their proprietary EK software. And I know a lot of people are usually concerned when a company decides, decides to come out with software, but when we tested out the EK, at least the RGB function of the EK software that they had there, it actually responded quite quickly to changing the RGB no matter how we wanted it, whether it was in a rainbow fashion, single color, it just, it was very responsive in the parts that we actually got to try out at the booth this year. And then I will say the most surprising thing that they had on their booth that I didn't think I would like, but then once I saw it in person, I was like, dang, that actually looks pretty sleek, is their new Lignum lineup, which is their wood water blocks because they're covered in wood. Obviously it has the same cooling capacity of a wet regular water block. It's just, it has a wood finish for that nice earthy aesthetic if you're going for that in your builds. I didn't think I would like it, but when I saw it in person, I, I, can't, I can't recommend it enough. If you're going for a wood aesthetic, they've actually done a really good job. It's actual wood. Each block is gonna look different from the next because they're not just mass producing a print to kind of slap on a water block. It's a good looking lineup. I really love the lignums. I'd have to think about how I would incorporate that in a build. It's obviously going to be for select scenarios, but if you want your computer to look like a forest, this is part, you're, you're getting your way there. I'll tell you that. And then to wrap up, they obviously had their EK Classic lineup on display. They had their Fluid Gaming lineup on display as well. These are the all-in-one systems that you can buy that come with hardline tubing already. You can check out plenty of videos by other reviewers like Bitwit's video on this right up there. You buy these things at, let's say, a micro center and then you have a completely hardline liquid-cooled system using aluminum fittings and blocks and radiators and all of that. And then on top of that, they had their enterprise solutions. And then finally, they also have what they call their dye packs because they have their cryofuel out on the market, but you know, some people want to create their own colors that might not necessarily be in their cryofuel lineup. Well, that's where 
where the dye packs come in, either in a clear or a solid solution, where you can mix and match them to your heart's content to create the colors that you're looking to do. So you get a blue, a red, and a yellow dye, and then you just kind of make your own solution. It's great all the colors that you want. Or if you're one of those people who like to change everything about your system on a regular basis, this is also great for you because you can keep the dyes and then let's say if you're feeling purple that day, you just drain your loop, put a new liquid and then change the color, bippity boppity, you've got a new purple system. Anyways, that's it for the EK booth this year at Computex 2019. The main players for this, it's their new Magnitude lineup, the Lignum lineup, and then the new dye packs that they're coming out with. But overall, EK just continues to knock it out of the park with their uh, class leading liquid cooling setups. So big thanks to them for bringing us along for their booth this year. And a big thanks to them for starting to part when they're with us so that we can actually do liquid cooling stuff now because South Africa doesn't really have a great selection of it. So it's amazing that they're willing to work with us. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But also big thanks to all of our sponsors this year for Computex 2019. Rickus is giving me a look. I'm sorry, I'm a little weird. My bad. Big thanks to Wootware for sending us here for the fourth year in a row. I could, it's, they're just amazing. And then we also have our new partners in ASRock, BitPhoenix, and Abconcore. Looking forward to seeing what they have, that they've displayed this year and how it's gonna look when it comes out. So it's been, it's been a good Computex 2019. I'm really thankful that we got to go for another year. And a big thanks to everybody who watches these videos because obviously we wouldn't be here if we didn't have an audience to pitch all of these new products too. So thank you guys so much. Let's say goodbye to the team because this is a big deal. We've got, we've got Rickus right behind the camera. He's, he did all the filming this year. And then we've got the new guy, Jason. It says first year at Computex. He seemed to really like it. We'll see if he comes back next year. But again, uh, I don't know if the minimum focusing distance is good enough for this, but thank you all so much for allowing us to do Computex again. Really appreciate you as Rickus grabs the camera. We love you so much. That's the end of Computex. High fives! Yeah, okay, love you too. Bye.